Hi everyone, it's Crappy Kathy here with um, day seven of 30 days of sketches and the day seven load prompt, which I'm not exactly gonna follow because to be honest, I'm feeling horrible. Um, I'm, I had a, a shingle shot yesterday. Was it yesterday? <laughs> it seems like there's so much pain. It had to be days ago. Um, and I'm running a very high fever and I don't really feel like being out of bed. So I'm gonna interpret this sketch in the barest minimum. It's gonna kind of be a lesson on how to follow a sketch without really following a sketch. I pulled some things I liked. One of these is this um, background paper. It's white with little multicolor diamonds all over it. And it is Pink Paisley Citrus Bliss. The paper is called Bloom. And I love this side of it, but today I'm going to use this. You've seen me use this before um, because I bought 25 sheets of it. I, I liked it so well and saw so much um, versatility in it. Uh, I've got this strip, as you will notice, the, um, the layout has two kind of almost square photos. Um, I've got a strip of photos and I'm gonna use those. I'm going to, because these are kind of at an angle, I'm gonna put mine at an angle, um, but I have to kind of cut them three and then two. I guess I'll go with these three and then these two. And I'm gonna try to cut right in between there. And I'm gonna kind of do them. There are no dots here. I lost the dots. So I'm just gonna cut that very narrowly and I'm gonna pretend I didn't notice that. If I had noticed that, I could have used this as the bottom part. But I'm just gonna kinda do it this way and I'll probably staple them at that angle. Let me see, do I wanna do it if I do it this way, I cover her smile, and that's kind of the whole, the whole point. I tell you what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna do it this way. Okay, so that's my photo cluster at the moment. The other supplies I have are, this is, um, uh, pink fresh chipboard flare from the Let's Stay Home collection, but there are enough neutral pieces that don't have anything to do with staying home. And then I've got this round part, so I can kind of use those. I have these um, kind of squares made of squares, and I thought I might use a couple of those. I'm not sure. I have two different color schemes here. I could use one of one and one of the other. Uh, let's see. And there are these vertical uh, banners. And I don't think they have to be banners in order to give you that vertical line that you may wanna go for. I'm just gonna use them as rectangles. And I'm just gonna kind of put them make sure I get them parallel. I'll use three different colors and I'll cut them different lengths. And kind of alter them like that.
Oops. That seems to work. And then I've got this lighter colored one that could kind of go like right there coming from the bottom. Let's see how that might work. I'll just do it here, kind of across there. Whoops. And I'm sorry, I'm probably not going to be very, uh, hmm. that's not good. It, there we go. Probably not going to be particularly careful or easy to understand today. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to do this here. Um, on this side over here, I'm going to use this darker blue, and I'm going to overlay it on this uh, striped piece. In the original, there's actually a piece of paper here, and then it looks like washi tape or something um, there, but I'm just going to, let's see, I've got it. Okay, let me do this. And just let the faintest little bit of that show, I think. Yeah, and it's okay with me if it isn't absolutely parallel. I'm gonna do that and Basically, I'm using these as anchors for embellishment clusters. And I'm going to, maybe since that has that dark blue, I may, let's see what we have here. This will kind of go down and I'm going to use this one up here. I'll let it, Kind of go like that. I'll put this here. Or do, should I do this? This would contrast more. And I think the contrast would actually look nice. And then I've got some other embellishments that may um, kind of um, get, take the edge off of these hard edges. I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna do that. I'll kinda go like that, just, um, and let me get a little bit of foam. go like that and that kind of brings that dark blue over here and this brings those other colors here and I have no idea where I'm going to go from here I honestly don't I like this love this but it may be too big for what I'm going for I have these fussy cut I've got this camera that could go there and the heart that could go there or do I want to do the heart here and maybe kind of tucked in over the top of that. Let me get some foam and see what we've got. I'll do the camera with a little foam 
down on this side because it gets lifted up by these four layers of, uh, of paper. So I'm going to do it kind of like that. And then I'm going to prop this up on some foam. I'm going to do it like that, maybe, because I want that to show. Okay, now I have got some flowers here and flower centers. Uh, let me see if I can find... Here we have the centers. I'm just going to see if I can do one leaf sprig maybe coming out this way. And I'm going to take a let's see, how does that let me see if I can fold that like that and kind of tuck it under here to give me that look these florals came from Christina Sorge in a um, layout palooza challenge and I just hadn't used them now do I want this flower center yeah, I like that one. And I'll use one of these up here. Okay. This is going to be extremely simple. I'm going to call it the perfect smile. Okay, there. Now, I'm going to come up here and do that same. I'll cut off the leaves. There. Let me actually get it under the photo, but over the cardstock. Okay, and I'm gonna fold this one like I did that one. I'm folding the textured side over so that all four um, petals look, have that textured look. that in there and maybe spread them out okay and here's this guy yeah I was not expecting that my uh, shingles booster would knock me out quite as badly as it has I was a little bit sore last night, but nothing like as sick as I am now. Okay, that, and then let me do this. 
these are from Go the Scenic Route. And I'm going to angle this at the same angle that these photos are. This says the perfect day, but I'm going to leave off the word day and use that word smile. Okay. And my kind of take the the load prompt was to scrap about something that made you feel like queen for a day. Well, seeing that little smile on Ava's adorable face used to make me feel like queen for forever. So I'll leave that like that. Now I'm going to see what small embellishments I can kind of place around here. I'm going with these um, puffy dots and hearts, and I'll do a cluster here. And I'll do another one right there. And maybe I'll do, let's see, I like this mint green heart because it goes so nicely with the uh, the mint green paper here. Okay, and here. There we go. And I have not used any of these. Let me see if there is a place I could put this uh, rainbow. Maybe kind of right in here. There we go, kind of sticking out as part of that floral cluster. And there's another rainbow, but I kind of like this mint green. It's a different mint green from that, so I don't want to do that. I'll go with this peachy color, and I'll put it kind of right there. Okay, I'm going to call it done. Um, I'll do some some journaling on it um, later when I feel better. Uh, and I'm going to call it quits. So kind of a lesson in how uh, simply you can interpret a sketch. I saw that there are vertical things here, vertical things here, um, a cluster kind of up here and a cluster down here. I don't have everything that the other clusters had and I wasn't trying to, so um, I'm good with this. Let me see if I can do, if I can find a place to put this. Maybe, no. I probably should leave well enough alone. Nah, I'm not gonna do it. So, it's done. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow, and hopefully I'll, uh, I'll feel better. I'll be doing um, Challenge Accepted tomorrow uh, using the, uh, oh, I actually have some journaling here. Uh, and I want to be sure and, and put that in there. It says, I cannot even tell you how much I love the gorgeous, gorgeous photo of Ava from 2014 at age six. And so maybe that could go right there. I'm going to ink it and put it there. But I'm going to end the video now. Uh, 
thank you for watching and for putting up with my um, uh, sickly sounding voice. <laughs> Bye.